guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you guys can see, I'm still on holiday. Uh, it's a two week holiday. So unfortunately, I won't be able to create any content for uh, the next two weeks. However, this is an intro to the next video. So um, after this video, I'll basically continue the video once I get home. So today is, uh, I think, the seventh. So we'll return. Um, home by the 9th I think or the 11th sorry so I'll be able to create some more content for you uh, this video is like I said the intro to the next video um, um, at the end of this video you guys will see that I will basically continue the next video um, showing you guys the next mods for the car and what I do have planned for uh, the EG and then also in that video which will be the next video i'll also basically install uh, those parts as well so i hope you guys like the video peace flashback yo guys welcome back to the channel so today uh, it's actually a good day it's a monday a day before the public holiday so a lot of people are off it's also the day after uh, It's also the day after um, the Honda World Cup. We're not quite sure if uh, we did win, but you guys will probably know by now. I think that this video will be uh, a few weeks later. So I just came out here to Global Side for a drive and some lunch. that I am this side there is a few parts that I want to get on this side as well so I'm just gonna see if they do have it available and I'll show you guys that part check out this view the stable mountain So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I don't know if you can hear me guys because of the wind. These guys are all windsurfing here. Yo my dudes, welcome back to the channel uh, So today I just want to share with you guys uh, a tool that I bought uh, It's called a Trimmel uh, Trimmel is something that I would advise any fabricator or car builder to have It's a very useful tool um, Going forward seeing that I have this tool I'll be using it a lot more in the vlogs It will help me a lot with um, 
what I have planned for the EG as well as the EK as well. So let me just show you guys. The Dremel that I did get is a second hand Dremel. However, um, I did get a pretty good deal on it. Um, I do assume, because it says 8200, it is one of the more advanced ones. Um, the speed is actually very quick. Um, let me just show you guys. So it obviously has the option to switch on over here. It goes very slow. And then you have the option of move, making move much more faster. And as you guys know, this is my favorite um, fitting. As I like cutting up things, I actually use a Dremel to cut up my fenders. So today basically um, we are going to use the Dremel as well as um, some of this turtle wax or metal polish it was given to me by um, Auto Color Creation we are going to use this to just clean up um, the Mugen Twin loop a bit I did get a few fittings, uh, not much let me just show you guys so I assume that this fitting will use um, just to buff the exhaust um, and then maybe just of this um, I actually have been to a hardware so I have confirmed that these things are actually sold separate so that's why I actually went uh, ahead with buying the Dremel because uh, I just basically needed the Dremel itself and then going forward I can just buy whatever I do need um, for the Dremel so I'm actually pretty excited that I got this um, tool so I'll just show you guys a short video on how I actually clean uh, the twin loop Mugen exhaust. Okay hey guys, so I'm just going to give you a short tutorial on how to use uh, the Dremel. So the, with the cutting tools, they give you this fitting over here, which makes it much more safe for you to use. So if you just want to remove this, just do that. Okay, and if you want to remove the whole fitting, you just have to turn this over here. Um, we are going to use the buff tool on the exhaust. So let me just show you. So that is the buffing um, fitting. So basically I just did this. This is ease on the slow setting. Then if I did want it to move faster, I just do this battery is low so it's actually dying uh, then I also just wanted to mention that I'm not a big fan of this fitting over here because I did pick up that uh, this basically falls off so I just might get a better fitting for this um, but for now it will do okay so I'm just going to use this to clean the exhaust with this fitting and using this um, compound polish that they provided
just died on me. The only downfall of having recorded this one is the bat it dies very easily. I'm just gonna charge it. I'm just gonna charge it a little bit and I'll just continue. Kind of does look much cleaner right now, better than before. Then also just wanted to show you guys, I always thought that this was actually black inside. Um, because it kind of gets dirty and it's always black. I do kind of like the black lines. And I also kind of like when this is dirty because when you can see it is a Mugen exhaust. But when it is clean, you don't really see it. And this is also the Jasmine. Badges, I'm not quite sure if you guys can see it. It's a bit scraped. <laughs> so yeah, the drum the Dremel actually works very good. Um going forward, seeing that I do have a Dremel, you guys will be expecting me to um cut a lot more things. <laughs> 